A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Suiting up. See you on the ramp. Hope we're all that ready. Callow. All right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. A lot of people had their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? We didn't come millions of light years to die in a different place. I'm not letting the initiative down. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Hell. There. Set us down at this nav point. supposed to do here reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge eos deployment was incomplete due to environmental ha doors getting emergency power but it's code locked site one issued individual security codes each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol just say we can't open it without codes we can't open it without codes they must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions how would they know? They didn't have a Pathfinder. This analysis provides now. us with important we'll research data, Eos Pathfinder. Home. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? 
Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote log is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we go outside Site 1's perimeter? Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a Pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Though well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. <laughs> Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he used his clearance to sneak off the station, make some credits on the side. Don't sound so impressed. Really, Ryder? Generator interface possible. Location marked. We've got company.
Shoulders hurt! I think we're done. They weren't kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right Sam? Correct. Plus I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. So shiny. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you?
Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. There, look, up near that scaffolding. That's enough. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Back up, literally. Whoa, easy. You've come this far, just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make little bots! <laughs> Let's go. 
first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Poof, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Radiation levels increasing. Radiation levels normal. Life support at 100%. Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Approaching Site 2, Resilience. Here, All these new challenges. We're making it through. Sometimes that's all you need. You'd think there'd be more bodies. Not that I'm complaining. Not a lot left behind for a massacre. What if... they were removed? We know the Nexus didn't bother picking up the bodies. You don't think it could have been the cat? That's a bad thought. Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Remnant site. Could have a few lurkers. Earth head formations like this. 
Made a lot of kids think of alien worlds. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long run. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your... That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Hostile shuttle incoming.
reinforcements. Do they know we're here? Let's get to it before there's any more cat. was pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah. Guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. Oh, come on, Drax. Stop that. Vetra, what are you doing here? I'm with the Pathfinder. That Pathfinder. A friend of Vetra's a friend of mine. You can call me Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? You're not the only one hunting, Cat. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. Nexus knows shit about the Cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> But they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now, taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. Ugh, I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, Drac, we could use someone with your... skills. Tempting as that is, Vetra, I'm a little too old to be carrying humans through a fight. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the Ket are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Seems fun. <laughs> Scanning will reveal the missing glyphs. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Did whatever 
before that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Anton, Darren T. Can't undo what happened, but we can make sure he's remembered. This component was security tagged for Site 2. Looks like they had some... some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. Pathfinder, I advise caution. Remnant activity may be hostile. Got them all. Activating automated forward station deployment. 